What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hobby Time with Chris. So we're running a different setup this time. I got blue shocks on it. And it's the stock shock shafts. See? Silver. It's not the Pro-Line fatties. I'm thinking, well first of all, I had to replace the tubes and it was cheaper to get the whole thing off eBay. But I'm thinking the lighter oil, I still have the heavy springs in there, will allow the wheels to move more in air and help me flip. So let's see how this goes. That's the skateboard skateboard I told you about last video. And this is the first jump. Ah, uh, maybe slightly better air control with the stock shocks. I, I have the upgraded springs though, so not fully stock. Let's see if I can miss the light pole. Ooh, that went super far. Wicked turn radius. I got it fully cranked, by the way. Oh, uh, maybe there's a jump over here we missed last time. A little, but that was too close for me. There's a lip right here at the edge of the skate park that will destroy. It's about the same height as my foot. The bottom skid plates. I have an idea. Just came across me on accident because this happened. Oh, too much mustard. I landed on this down spot perfectly last time. Maybe it was sheer luck, but it was fun. I'm gonna try it again. I also can't see well from here. I'm gonna try back over here. Something like that, but I landed a lot better. But, let's try this for the first time. Oh, I tried landing on this lower part. But, since we got a cool angle right now, give you guys an idea on how high this thing jumps. This is a good 12 feet. Easy. See if we can't get a flip from right there after this guy. I'm trying not to get anyone on film. Or hit him with the X and X. Perfect landing. Oh, a little jump right there. Since I got it fully pinned, we're gonna hit it. Boom! That was pretty good. Pausing the video. Back at this one. This place is pretty close to my house, so I might come here more often. Almost hit a bird, dang. Pinned it. I don't want to get in anyone's way. There's people right there. And we're gonna hit this one. 
a few more times. It's like a perfect landing I just hit right there. But these stock shocks are holding up pretty well. With the upgraded, uh, whatchamacallit, springs. I hit that spine over there super hard. And I landed on the, con or the asphalt path way over yonder. Something like this. Oh, that time I fully cleared it. Dang. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to hit that jump going that fast from over here, but that was huge. We landed in that downhill, not this one, the next one after the bike path. So we're gonna try that again. That was enormous. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys were able to catch that on camera. That was huge. Let's see how the shocks, oh, the shocks seem to be all right. Yep. Still spongy. Still spongy. I'm happy with that. Fans holding up this time. That was a huge, huge air. I'm gonna try that one more time just to make sure I got that on camera. That was enormous. I'm gonna stand back now because I can't see it at all now. We're gonna go over here. I think you guys should be able to see that. For sure. Right now the spine coping is like probably at my shoulders. I'm 5'8", 5'9", I don't know. Oh, missed it. I'll be surprised if a shock's not bent that time. But if it's not, we're going again. Seems good. Send it. I'm gonna put the new shock shafts in there. The Proline HD shock shafts, the big fat ones, eight millimeter, I forget what they are, but they're pretty leaky. Oh, pause in the video. She snuck up on me there. All right, we're gonna try that one more time. I'm gonna go up here so I don't miss it again. Cause you guys have a pretty good idea. I mean, that's maybe 25 feet, 30 feet distance. It had to have at least been 20 feet high right there. But you guys should be able to see pretty well from right here. Huge! And I saved the body that time. Barely. So I don't have to walk. That's it, I hope I got that on film. Actually, let's check it with you guys live. Seems pretty straight. Oh yeah, awesome. I'm not so sure how well you guys can see my phone, if you even can, but you can set up your Texas Traxxas telemetry after the update. You just take away everything and put it back. And now I have 31.2 volts in my battery getting read through my ESE. So that's awesome. It also has things like tilt. So right now I'm at 34% up. If you go over here, we're at 4% left to right. 38% left to right. Pretty awesome. Uh, if you guys can't see that, I'm probably going to try and hit record right there. 
and then sync this to the video for the next, I don't know. I'm gonna go over there and do some flips after these kids are gone. Pretty cool though, Traxxas. So I forgot to tell you guys, before I started today, this lower control arm broke. It's broken sheared right there. I don't know if I hit something sharp, but this bottom skid plate got cut as well. But it's completely through this top control arm and I've done everything you've seen in this video with that. And 2050 gearing, Duratrex, Lockup X, M2C upgrades, the Beefcake, geez, chassis brace, and I also have the drive axle as well, the split shaft, and that's it. But it's cooling off. Still pretty hot, actually still really hot, so she still has a minute. I might not do anything else here, but yeah, just in case. Thanks for watching. The X-Max ESE temp is right there. It's at 145, motor's at 128. But I wanna hit this a couple times. I, I don't like bringing them to 200 degrees. I try to keep it less than 150, but hey, you gotta have fun with them, right? Ooh, nose dive. Almost had it. Any damage? Don't think so. You know, these plastic arms are pretty strong. Now that I say that, it's gonna break. But yeah. Also, what I figured out. Once you smash up your body a bunch, fits on backwards. This should be interesting. But it pops off really easy. <laughs> yeah, stock springs are doing really good with the upgraded springs. I have pink in the black, back, black in the front. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna hit it a couple more times. We're gonna try from this angle again. Oh, hit the only tree in the lot. perfect landing so now with the lighter shock oil let's see if the wheels bouncing up and down in air helps it backflip because with these dirt track lock up tires you lose backflips oh man almost nailed myself scratch the paint these things are hard to kill. I'm telling you right now. But if you take a serious dive like that, just check your situation real fast and send it. But I like to make sure the body's on really good because the body protects it so much. I mean, if you look at mine, I have a hole there, hole there, hole there, hole there. This part is actually broken pretty bad. This part's broken pretty bad, but I, you can have a kid stand on this and it'll still save it. So keep your bodies on tight. I'm gonna try another backflip. See if I can't get one. No. Just doesn't want to backflip. But this thing shines in the front flips, I think, anyway. Especially if you can get them crooked a little bit, so it's like a aerial. Yep. We're gonna do one more. I know it's getting hot. Really, if you run your X Max around 200 degrees your gears will just explode. 
I don't care if it's mod 1.5, if it's mod 1. If you watch your temperatures, you will be fine. But that's going to conclude this video. I will see you guys around.